Well, when you're looking at the beauty of Wisconsin, it's true that sometimes those looks can be deceiving. Take, for example, this rather tranquil scene on the waters of Shawano Lake. Yes, but beneath those waters, there are zebra mussels, and they are spreading. The invasive species is a problem in 120 of Wisconsin's inland lakes and waterways. The mussels can disrupt ecosystems and litter shorelines with mounds and mounds of these sharp shells. But help may be on the way. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has more from Shawano Lake. John Moldquin is on a hunting trip. Each pair can reproduce a million new offspring every year. Yeah, definitely millions. Moldquin is the Shawano County Invasive Species Coordinator. He says zebra mussels have been here for about seven years. Zebra mussels are widely distributed through Shawano Lake. Uh, as long as you have a hard sandy bottom or a uh, rocky shoreline. But this lakeside laboratory may provide some help. With a product called Zequinox. We're testing it for some limited use, small scale limited uses um, in open waters. Mussels from the lake will be put into nine tanks. Zequinox will be added in various concentrations for different lengths of time. With this, it's a natural food, it's bacteria, things that they naturally already feed on. So we can treat for a short period. The mussels just eat it up. The mussels are caged and put back in the lake. They won't die right away. It'll take three or four weeks before they die off. All applications of Zequinox will happen within the trailer, and then that water, after we're done, will be taken off-site and disposed of. Denise Meyer says it's not intended to kill all the mussels in any given lake. A small area could be treated and prevent the spread, uh, but you'd really want to hit it, you know, detect it early on and then hit it strong and right away as soon as you find the, the population. And when it comes to the zebra mussel population here, John Motquin says he'll take all the help he can get. We're hoping that in new cases we can actually eliminate it in the future. In um, larger cases like this, it may never be possible to get rid of them completely. In Shawano, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Ugh, and they are sharp. The public is invited to come to an open house this Saturday to see the progress for themselves. The operation is located at the boat landing at Shawano County Park.